Hello everyone, how are we doing? Um, yes, I know this isn't the Mission Across Norway video which you're all so greatly anticipating. Please be patient with me. Yes, um, this is a bit of GeoGuessr midweek um, to satisfy those GeoGuessr fans who built my channel. So here we go. We had, we had, I, had, I had a lot of fun in abandoned places last time. Um, over a thousand locations, I think there's five thousand locations and the five we had last time, wasn't last week, were quite interesting. So let's do this again. Um, we're giving ourselves two minutes per round but we can move around. Uh, but a lot of them are photospheres in which you can't move uh, but that's fine. Yeah, let's see what interesting derelict abandoned buildings or places we get this week. Time. Oh my giddy aunt, look at that. The Duke of Lancaster. So can't move on this one. Oh my goodness, this is Britain. That's uh, a fence that I'm all too familiar with. One of that one of those green spiky fences, but let's not look at that. Let's look at this. The Duke of Lancaster. I wonder in which period this thing fought? I would hazard a guess at, I don't know, World War II. Who knows? Maybe a bit afterwards. Wow, I wonder where this is moored. I have no idea. Let's look around. Is that, that can't be just in the middle of, uh, no, obviously it can't be in the middle of the land. That would make no sense whatsoever. Minute left. Where could this be? We're on the eastern coast, it's worth pointing out. Or are we? I mean, I don't know. The Duke of Lancaster. Well, usually... Ah, wait a minute. Where were we recently? No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud a bit. Usually our ships end up in the south. So I am going to go down here, near Southampton. Why not? We might even stumble across it. Who knows? Duke of Lancaster. Let's say that it ended up on the banks of the River Test in Southampton, but I have no idea. Here we go. Wow, I, funnily enough, I did consider this. Well, I was thinking of going, yeah, perhaps on the Mersey up there somewhere, but it's Wales, actually. And um, that's quite interesting because I've actually cycled with my good friend Mike Craven along this road. Or did we miss that? I think we cut inside and cycled up the biggest hill I've ever been up. But there it is. It's on the D. It's ran ashore. No, probably not ran ashore. It's, it's ended its career on the banks of the River D. At the end of this game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out the history of that ship. We'll have a little look. Anyway, second round. Check this out. Okay, we can move on this one. This does seem like a World War II... Um, fortress. I apologise if it's a sacred burial tomb <laughs> or something like that. Wow, this looks sick to explore. You know, we might find things that I can go and explore. This is the fun thing about this. I mean, I want to go to the Duke of Lancaster for a start. What do we got here? That Surely this is Uh, is it Italy? I don't know. Let's move and see if we can find some um, language. And then we'll jump back to the start very quickly. It's nice to be able to move for once. Only a minute left now. Be nice if we could find a sign. Huh. 
Okay, I'm just going to jump back to the start and just it doesn't matter what points we get anyway. Let's just check this out. That's pretty cool. Now, I know there are defenses. Hang on a minute. Are they pine trees down there? Okay. I know there are defenses down here, Croatia kind of way. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go for this. Um, maybe a bit further down. I don't know when they're from, but um, I know that there are some. I mean, is this a World War Two thing? This might just be an old monastery. Either way, that's where I've gone. Okay, it was Western Spain. Interesting. Hmm, near Coruña. I wonder what that was. It it is an old battery. It's older than World War Two. I realised it toward the end there. With the st the stones look pretty damn old, but maybe that's from the cannon days. Is what I'm going to call them. Next one, and it's a photosphere. Oh my god, that kind of shit me up then. That would scare you, wouldn't it? Actually, if you just wandered into this place, although it looks quite touristy. So, no danger of that. Um, okay. Let's look at, I've got to, I'm going to have to look at the trees because uh, when it's photospheres, it really literally could be any country in the world, quite literally. But we know that it's Christian. I think that's a Christian figure. He looks quite a Christian man. And he's clutching... I don't know what he's clutching. A bar of soap. Don't drop it. Um, a minute left. And yeah, this is tough. I think... Um, God. I think I might go... Oh! Got placards here, but we can't read them. 44 seconds left. Okay, how about Greece? No. How about Malta? Let's go Malta for a laugh. And let's say that we are trying to find the actual place here. Which is silly. But let's go there. Wow. Okay. It was Hong Kong. Well, I did think the foliage looked a bit strange, but how have I just... <laughs> okay, it is a Christian site, so there we go. So that's something I can... Something that lessens the blow there of confusing Hong Kong with Malta. So it was a Christian figure. But he did kind of look oriental, didn't he? Now now I think of it. An oriental Christian figure. Okay, moving on. Let's see if we can regain some dignity with... Uh, we've got two, two rounds left to get a good score. This just seems like an old abandoned schoolhouse. Pretty sure that that's what that is. Again, I want to explore it. What can I say? The Hong Kong one, not so much, because it's just kind of a touristy place. I don't really count that as truly uh, abandoned when it's been turned into a museum, but this definitely is. And Oh, man. Oh, God. So I'm thinking with approaching a minute left that this has got to be Canada or America. And looking at that, I would say Canada. This is abandoned as well. I think this whole place, or at least most of it, looks pretty abandoned. And I think that's a rusty climbing frame, which 
I was looking for one time on uh, Street View Bingo. Um, okay, yeah. So let's go up here somewhere and let's go Montmartre. Montmartre. Sounds like a pretty abandoned village name. Here goes. Much further south in Kansas. In Bushong. Screw my nuts. Automotive repair. That's a brilliant name. I can't sit here and pretend it's not. Um, I don't know how much custom they get. But um, fair play for the name. Last round to improve on this awful score of 8,000. What the F is that? Are you serious? That's someone dressed up. Surely they're a paintball nerd. We'll come back to him. Yeah, this has got to be... Okay. I do want to get a good score here. I think this is a paintball... You know, place? Maybe not. Maybe it's just abandoned. Why, why does it... No, nah, that's been... Surely that's been built constructed I have no idea where it is I'm thinking Sweden Finland maybe but this he's got to be one of the biggest paintball nerds in the history of the sport surely GWC I can't see any graffiti that could give this away for me so, yeah, I'm going to have to go for it. I think that's quite a Finnish slash Swedish scene down there. Um, okay, I can't actually look at that man any longer. Or woman. Could be a woman under there. That's a scary thought. Yeah, let's go Finland. Let's say that we're not too far from, you know, cities. They need... They need custom. Just like screw my nuts and bolts or whatever it was. Yeah, I'm just going to go here near Tampere. But it really could be a, f a load of countries. Here we go. It's Sweden. Okay. Yeah, well, I've pushed the score over 10,000. Uh, but that's not what this is about. This is about... Admiring abandoned places, and we had a paintball, a paintballing place, I think, maybe not. Um, we had a massive old warship, which I'm just about to Google, presuming it's a warship. We had that battery, we had the Oriental Christian man, and we had the old um, schoolhouse, we presume. So... The Duke of Lancaster ship. TSS Duke of Lancaster. It was, wow, a railway steamer passenger ship that operated in Europe from 56 to 79. Amazing. So it wasn't a, a ship of war. D-estuary ship being turned into zombie attraction. Ha! Huh. Incredible. There it is, look. It's kind of got its own little nest there on the D estuary. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Um, not a great points haul, not a great geo-guessing display, but another um, brilliant selection of abandoned places. I'm learning a lot via this map. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and uh, I'll see you on Sunday. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait. See you there. Take care.